In this episode, I'm going to show you how to connect these micro switches to use for signal lights and uh, um, frog polarity. Stick around. I just assembled this one and uh, I wanted to show you uh, the functions of these micro switches. Uh, the best way I can do this is by simply uh, putting up a little circuit, everything will be temporary and uh, show you in more detail. Let's do that. What we have here is an imaginary setup on, on the layout. You have a point here, which in this case will not change. And uh, signal lights, and this will indicate the frog polarity, which way, uh, which is positive or negative on, on the frog. So, to simulate this, I've set up uh, the uh, servo on the servo mount and the two micro switches. I'm simulating here uh, some movement for the servo this is a servo tester i use open okay and okay and this is how it works so at the moment we have this the the white light is constantly on that is a light uh, on 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 the on the track somewhere it's always on and it is also indicating in this case, amber. I already have amber and red LEDs and white ones, sorry, for the time being. I don't have any greens. In the future, I'll have some. Um, uh, and at the moment, the direction of the point irrelevant here is showing amber. The frog polarity is also showing amber in this case. So when I change the frog, the, the point over by, by using the servo, the uh, the direction the uh, the signal will be red and the polarity on the frog will be red if you can see here let, let, let me zoom in on the wiring that's my 12 volts coming up here it's coming through that wire and i've split it up in various directions one of them is feeding the um, servo tester which which is fed from 12 volts down to 5 volts through this so I'm, I'm only feeding 5 volts to the servo the other outlets are all 12 volts because my LEDs are pre-wired with the resistor and they all support 12 volts so what I did was here in one case I have a 12 volt supply coming in here to this micro switch the positive and negative in this case are feeding the track but here we have on the uh, on the uh, point at the bottom here near the frog I have two LEDs one of them is fed the, the negative is feeding negative to one of the LEDs 
to the same LED, the positive is coming from the frog, if the frog was set to positive. If it's negative, this, this LED won't light. And the same on the other side, I have the red, the positive on the outer line, which is being fed from the red from the line, and the frog is being fed a negative if the frog polarity was set to a negative, which would feed the other LED. There, in this case, it's off. So, um, the frog itself is the yellow wire being the common on, on this micro switch. So, if the switch, let me change the position for you. There. Sorry about the movement. If the switch, go on. as you can see, the servo is pushing and releasing the micro switch, and in doing so, it's changing the polarity on the on the uh, frog. Very simple. Now the same for the LEDs or similar. I have a 12 volt supply coming here. Um, the the connection there, one of them goes direct to the white one. The white one is constantly on, whereas the uh, the black ones are connected directly, all three of them. Okay, but the reds from the two edge LEDs, one is going to uh, the normally open, and the other one is going to the normally closed. Sorry, normally open here in the middle. There, this one. And this is the normally closed. Um, this is the common coming in. This is the 12 volt supply coming in. Depending on the position on, of the switch being pressed or not. There. The 12 volts will either feed this LED or this LED. Pretty simple. What do you think about it? And this way you have signal lights corresponding with the position with the position of your point and the added bonus is you have frog polarity uh, included okay i'll try to leave a wiring diagram at the end of this video i'll leave it on for for a few seconds you can pause the video screen capture or whatever okay if you need any help just let me know thanks for watching be safe